Welcome to VidZ. I'm Dr. Ted Noel. Today we're going to cover the presidential debate. Now I know it's been a week, but there's an awful lot of stuff that the networks didn't cover that we've had to tease out from all sorts of video feeds. Every network did it differently, and there were things that we didn't find for a while. So sit back and relax. The debate stage is set up with six cameras. One looks at both of the participants, one looks at the moderator, then you have face-on angles for both of the participants, and then you have profile views of each participant looking at the other participant. Each network got all six feeds and then chose how they wanted to present the story as it was going on and switched between cameras the way they saw fit. Our task was to find the video in all of those possibilities that showed the things that we were looking for. The story of the debate actually begins on September 19 when Hillary went to Temple University. There she crossed her eyes so many times it became an internet sensation. Then on September 20, a mega dollar uh, dinner was canceled for no apparent reason. Now Hillary did do a radio interview with uh, Steve Harvey, but you don't have to show your face on radio. The next day, the 21st, she came to Orlando and once again crossed her eyes a number of times. After that, on the 22nd, she canceled another event. And then the 23rd, 24th, and 25th, she was lost from view. What was going on? Was she just prepping for the debate the way she said she was? Or was there another answer? I would suggest the possibility exists that she was having what's called a drug holiday. And the basic idea is this. In Parkinson's disease, we find that the drug dosing is a problem. You will start with it lasts this long and after you've taken it a while it lasts a little shorter and then a little shorter and a little shorter and then you have to take it so much you have problems. Well Hillary if she's going to be out in public for two hours needs her drugs to last two hours, two and a half hours, something like that. And if you simply stop taking the drugs for a period of time you can then restart them and they will last quite a bit longer. Unfortunately, this is a very controversial practice because it can have some serious side effects, but it seems like a realistic possibility because most of the time in the debate she was able to keep people from seeing any real signs. Hillary appeared to start the debate very well. She walked on with purpose and everybody thought things were great. Nobody mentioned any big problems with dyskinesias, crossed eyes, or anything else in the discussion afterwards. But was that exactly what happened? If we look at the entrance, we see that Hillary is walking with strides that are too long, with too much arm swing, and you can really tell because her shoulders rotate more than is normal. It's entirely possible that this is a Parkinson-trained gait. Parkinson sufferers typically develop a short shuffling gait as their disease gets worse. It's been known for about 20 years that if these people are trained to walk to a metronome, they end up with a much better gait and are able to get around more easily and not be obvious. Hillary's entrance looked to me like she was walking with a metronome running in her head. Her paces were very regular and in tempo, whereas Donald's were much more relaxed. There was a slight variability between his steps. His shoulders didn't move nearly as much. In other words, he looked normal and she didn't. You will recall that tremors are one of the most distinctive features of Parkinson's disease. And one of the most distinctive of those is called a pill rolling tremor. It basically looks as if you took a pill between thumb and forefinger and you were rolling it. And the key motions in it are a little bit of a flexing motion in the fingers and a flexing motion in the thumb. Well, the first thing we saw with Hillary was when she put her hands together like this a method designed to hide the tremors. We saw her right thumb doing that motion, but what we really see 
is it pushing on the other thumb in a way that makes it look like the left thumb is coming up. And sorry, no zoom on this. I'm a doctor, not a tech guy. The second part of the pill rolling tremor is the fingers. As you recall, the tremor is like this. But if I place my hand on a solid surface, the thumb can't do anything. And what we're left with is this. It's interesting to note that in that second clip, Hillary's hand was still moving in what appears to be a pill rolling tremor when the camera cut away. Could it be that the director happened to notice the tremor and cut away to avoid us seeing more of it? We're not done. In the debate, we also saw that Parkinson's disease hand posture and the crossed eyes that we've talked about in other videos. It's just that they didn't happen often enough to draw the attention of any of the commentators of the moment. It's interesting to note that as Hillary left the debate, the Secret Service was careful to light the path immediately in front of her feet. Now they didn't do this when she was coming in, and that fits with her feeling good on the way in. But if she was starting to feel problems with her Parkinson's disease, this would be expected. So what do we know? We know that in the week preceding the debate, Hillary had problems with her eyes. She canceled events, presumably because she was having difficulty with her movement disorder. Then, as we look further in, she takes several days off, possibly for a drug holiday. Then when she arrives at the debate, she looks pretty good, but she's still got that swinging shoulders and long arms movement gait that suggests a trained Parkinson's patient. Once in the debate, we see again the crossed eyes and the hand postures that we have seen before, but something new shows up, and this is probably because the cameras have never focused on her hands. We see clear evidence of the pill rolling tremor characteristic of Parkinson's disease. We saw it in the hands where one was squeezing on the other where the thumb shows up and the other when we have the hand that's scratching on the surface. So this is new and it's very strongly supportive of our premise of Parkinson's disease. Finally we see Hillary walking out of the venue with her path being lighted very closely by the Secret Service, typical of what might be expected for a Parkinson's disease patient. Now, Donald doesn't get this kind of lighting. So, is it Parkinson's? We can't be 100% sure, but we have quite a bit of circumstantial evidence to suggest that yes, she has Parkinson's disease. And even though at the debate on first viewing we thought there was no evidence, when we went through rather carefully, we found that indeed there was sufficient evidence to suggest that she does still show Parkinson's disease. Not only that, we saw strong evidence of a pill rolling tremor, which is extremely characteristic of Parkinson's disease. Does this prove the case? No, but it makes it stronger. And it clearly says that we need true health records from Hillary Clinton to answer the question. I'm Dr. Ted Noel, and thank you for watching.